Good morning, good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing so well. This is Jordan Dove. It's time for your daily dose of Dove. It is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. And we're going to teach you how to live for free or very close to it or actually be able to have positive cash flow and own property. It's a really interesting concept. It's a housing hack. I'm going to talk about it in just a second. But first, I wanted to thank a couple people. Habib the tailor, thank you for the new threads. You are the man. Everything's handmade. If you're in Vegas and you need a suit or a tailor or leather repair, Habib the tailor is your man. Just Google it, put it in your maps, punch, type in Habib, he's going to show up. Also, really, really good friend of mine shared a great video with me yesterday uh, about expressing gratitude and how the brain works and dopamine and all that good stuff. And big Jerome B who's been checking out the channel, leaving comments. He subscribed. Thank you so much for being such a great friend to me and my family. We love you so much. Really, really sharp guy. Thanks for being here, man. Okay. Before I get into anything, please like and subscribe to this channel. I would super genuinely appreciate it. If you find any of this content informational or somebody who might learn something from this, please do. This video might be a little bit longer today because I have to explain some good information. There's some good, valuable information here. And if you have questions about anything we discuss or something you want me to talk about, I'm really enjoying having conversations with you guys in the comments. It's, it's really fun. I do my day, I go home and we get to chat. So really cool stuff. So anyways, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. And share this with somebody who you think would find the information valuable. Okay, first let's talk about the 10 year treasury note. As you know, closely tied to 30 year fixed mortgage interest rates. 10 year bond yield, 1.531% down a little bit, but the 30 year fixed mortgage is sitting at 3.17% national average up from 3.14% yesterday. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about how to live for free or very close to it. As you know, real estate, purchasing property, it costs money, it is an investment, but we like to take calculated risks. We like to do real estate by the numbers. So let's go through two scenarios. Before I show you how you can live for free or very close to it, I wanna do a typical 20% down conventional financing on a multifamily home, which is either a duplex, triplex, or fourplex. In this example, I'm going to use a fourplex that was emailed to me yesterday that went under contract today on our MLS, but I'm gonna use that as an example because I ran the numbers on it yesterday and it made sense to me. This would have been a deal to buy for me personally. Um, but I want to share the numbers with you, okay? Went under contract today. I checked this morning. I was like, ah, oh, damn it. But uh, anyways, let's talk about it, okay? So this property was listed at 500, comp supported 490. Let's say we negotiated down. We beat them up a little bit. Say we got them down to 490, okay? So we got a 490K purchase price, right? $490,000. You guys can see that. That's great. So now I'm going to run through basically a net sheet for you, but I'm gonna write the numbers out. And this is an estimate of the closing cost of purchasing a home with a multifamily, excuse me, a, we're buying a fourplex here, fourplex, okay? Four units all attached together, but with separate living areas. Okay, fourplex, 20% down, conventional financing. When you are buying a non-owner occupied property, whether it's single family, condo, duplex, fourplex, it doesn't matter your interest rate's going to be higher. And right now they are at about 3.615% average with 20% down. You're not gonna live in the property. It's strictly for investment, okay? If you live in the property and run it out, you can't do that. You can get in big trouble. So make sure you are getting non-owner occupied financing or, or if you're going to live in the property, I'm gonna show you how to do that with 3.5% down and live for free after this example okay so 490 purchase price 20 percent conventional financing 3.615 interest rate 20 percent down of 490 again don't do public math but it's 
$98,000 is 20% of four ninety. dollars okay? We have some other costs involved when purchasing a home. You have prepaid costs and fixed costs. And what prepaid costs are is 14 months of insurance, five months of taxes, and say if you close, for example, the middle of November this month, you will pay, say the 15th, you will pay 15 days of prepaid interest on that loan. But the good news is if you close on the 15th of November, your first mortgage payment isn't going to be due until January 1st. Did you know that? That's how it works. Okay, so we got 20% down, 980. Our prepaids of that insurance, taxes, and prepaid interest. Again, these are estimates, but they're very close. They're usually worst case scenarios, so they're estimated a little higher. So when they come in lower, I'm happy, you're happy, everybody's happy. Okay? Prepaid estimate estimate of three thousand eight hundred forty dollars and eighty six cents. And then we have our fixed cost, which is done through the title or escrow company. I know other states use attorneys, but in Nevada, we use title escrow companies. Um, this is going to be fees like title insurance, uh, lender fees if they charge any. Many lenders will charge a 1% loan origination fee. I recommend you shop for a lender that does not charge a loan origination fee like our lender Chuck Barone with Right Choice Lending. They don't charge any fees. They make their money when they sell their loan to whoever purchases it like Fannie or Freddie. Okay, That's how they get paid. Um, if they're charging you a fee, find somebody that doesn't. You will have to pay for your appraisal which in our market is about $500 and your credit report which we charge $42 for. Okay, So those fixed costs, this is without a loan origination fee of 1%. Your fixed cost estimated for this purchase, $2,657.35. So this is your fixed, okay, got your fixed here. Here's your prepaid, here's your down payment. And that is a total of $104,498. We'll leave off the change. Okay, so this is your, this is really weird writing at this angle, but hey, we're gonna make it work, okay? So 498, this is your initial investment with a 20% down with your prepaid, your fixed cost, okay? So now let's talk about, let's talk about the cash flow. You have four units you're purchasing. The comps, I ran some rental comps on these. They're renting from 900 to $1,300 per month. And I think those could even be increased if you upgrade the units, but that's different costs. Those are different numbers. So we're gonna say as is with current market rents, you might need to clean, paint, carpet, do it yourself, save the money, put in the legwork. It's called sweat equity. Just do it, okay? Let's talk about the cash flow. Four units. 900 to $1,300 a month. We're gonna use $1,200 a month as an example because that's what I would try to get for base rent. If it were me, you could push for 1,300. Hey, let's get the tenants in there. Let's get some quality tenants. So we're gonna use $1,200 a month. So this is gonna be our rent per unit, 1,200 per month times four. You have 4,800 per month in cash flow. It's flowing, all right? 48 per month in cash flow, but let's talk about your costs. You have costs every month. You have what we call PITI, P-I-T-I, -I, which is principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, okay? So on this purchase price, with this down payment, with this information, your principal and interest, P and I, is equal to, and this is an estimate, be pretty close based on that 3.615 interest rate, is 1,000, seven hundred eighty five dollars and a few peanuts which is 52 cents okay p and i then we have our taxes i pulled the taxes from clark county records i found it the exact taxes on this property was or is 118 dollars a month okay we also have member pity principal insurance interest taxes insurance insurance on this property insurance 119 a month Okay. There is no HOA on this unit, no HOA on this unit. So let's look at the numbers real quick. Insurance, 119 a month. All right, utilities, water, sewer, trash. This is built into that monthly payment of your tenants, which is uh, for the water, sewer, and trash is 233 per month. 
Let's add this all up. This is gonna be your monthly cost. Okay, it's your monthly cost. This comes out to $2,000. $255 is your monthly cost, $2,255. You're collecting $4,800 a month. Let's subtract those. You have a net of $2,554 per month. That's your profit per month, okay? Your initial investment of 104, 498, positive cash flow of 2,545, right? You follow me so far? That's 2.4% per month. Times that by 12, 12 months, right? We've got 12 months in a year. 29% capitalization rate. Pretty good return. $30,540.24 per year in net operating income. In four years, you're going to have paid off your initial investment of $105,000. Okay. Are you following me here? You can increase rents 3% every year to hedge inflation. Okay. You can upgrade the units, charge for more. This does not include repair costs. That's a calculated risk. You may have some repairs to do. You might not. Hopefully they're minimum. Hopefully you have a great handyman and you can get things done relatively cheap. But you know, out of this, out of this return, you know, you can maybe budget one to two to three percent of that for repairs. Okay, remember you also have that month where you're not paying anything in December, but your tenants are, and you can use that to build some reserves as well for that. Okay. You can also get a home warranty, use that, pay the service fee of $75 or whatever that contract is, and you can use that. Okay, so here's the numbers. 490 financing, 20% down at a 3.615 interest rate, 29% cap rate per year, 2.4% return per month. What do you think about that? Let me know. Find it interesting. It's cash flow. You know, you could use this money and leverage this money to do other things. You can reinvest it, whatever you want to do. Banks like cash flow. You can use cash flow and leverage that money to do other things, okay? So, let's talk about how to live for free, okay? This is a really cool one. This is a house hack. This is really cool. This is for somebody who, first time home buyer, maybe you're younger, maybe you're older, maybe you just wanna start investing in real estate. It's gonna cost you a little bit of money, not as much as the last example, but we're gonna use the same property as the example which just went on the market today, okay? Real example, real numbers. I ran them myself. This deal made sense for me. It's just we have to negotiate, get in on it, move, right? You got to move on the property because this market's still really hot and competitive for investors, a lot of cash in the market, etc. Okay, so let's talk about this next example, how to live for free, how to live close to free, or how to actually have positive cash flow. And in this example, at that $1,200 a month, you're going to have positive cash flow. So let's talk about the financing program first. So you have FHA, which is the Federal Housing Administration. You can get a loan for 3.5% down with a minimum of a 580 credit score. The higher the score, the better interest rate you're going to get. If your credit score is between 500 and 579, you can qualify for FHA, but you will need 10% down, okay? Uh, just so you know that. But with FHA, you can purchase anywhere from one to four unit properties. And the more units you purchase, the higher the loan limit will be. So, and I'm going to put in the comments or in the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to FHA so you can see the different um of how much money they will finance in different areas and for different amounts and for different properties, okay? So in low cost areas, FHA will finance up to $685,400 for a fourplex. And in high cost areas, they will lend up to $1,581,750, okay? And I'm gonna put the link in, so check it out. Um, okay, so you wanna live for free? Let's use this example again. 
You must live in the property. This is key for at least one year. FHA requires you to live there for at least one year. But check with your mortgage professional and talk about the programs. If you need a referral to one, just ask me. Okay, here we go. We're doing the same same fourplex, 490,000. 490,000 fourplex, 3.5%. Percent down. We're going to use today's interest rate. What was it? Do you remember? It was 3.17% average. Okay, here's what we're going to do 3.5% down to 490. So our down is $17,150. A lot better than 20% down. But it's all about those returns, baby. Calculated risks. Okay, we got our prepaids and fixed that we already discussed. So prepaid is 4,588. Again, these are estimates, 39 cents. Fixed, discussed what that is. Do you remember what fixed costs are? That total is 2,565, 55. Again, estimates. So your bring to close, your BTC, bring to close, not Bitcoin. Not Bitcoin, BTC, bring to close. Soon you'll be able to pay in Bitcoin, I hope, okay? But bring to close is $24,304. That's your cost to close. Remember, you must live in one of the units, okay? Let's talk about the monthly, monthly cash flow. Now you're gonna rent out three of those units at $1,200 a month. In this example, based on market rents, you're gonna rent out three and you're gonna live in one because that's a stipulation to be able to get owner-occupied financing at the better interest rate and only put 3.5% down, okay? So let's talk about the monthly payment. Again, we have principal and interest. Pity, you remember this, right? Principal and interest of, you're putting down less money, so this payment's going to be higher, $2,100. $27.03. You have your taxes. Tax. Got to pay the tax man. 118. Insurance. 119. These are actual numbers. These are actual numbers, guys. Real world numbers. Okay. Now you have something that you add on. If you don't have 20% equity in the home, you have what's called MIP or MIP, which is a mortgage insurance premium. And if you guys remember after the big club buoy, there was a lot of stuff that was passed. They got much stricter on lending, so much harder to get a loan. It's, it's very, very legit now. But they put on MIP because they wanted to build cash flow reserves in case something would ever happen again. So if you're putting down less than 20% or you have less than 20% equity in the property, you will be charged mortgage insurance. And there is a total payoff balance that you're going to pay every month for X amount of time. It all varies. Speak to a lending professional. Or when you have or what you believe to have 20% equity in the property, you can refinance you can refinance and get rid of the MIP if you have 20% equity, okay? So I wanted you to know that. So we have MIP on this property, and they are estimating $334.94 a month, right? Everything's monthly. And the utilities again, which was, what was it? The water, the sewer, the trash. That is $223 per month, okay? We remember that as a total monthly cost, $2,000. $931.97, 293197. Sorry, my handwriting on this board, bear with me, but the numbers are the numbers, right? Okay, so your monthly cost, $2,931. Now, using the previous market rent of $1,200 per month and renting out three of the units, so you got $3,600 a month, cash flow coming in to feed this beast to feed this beast right okay subtract two thousand nine hundred thirty one ninety seven cents you have a profit every month profit with your mortgage paid and your sewer water and gas of six hundred sixty eight dollars and three cents pretty interesting right that's a 2.75% return per month on your initial investment of $24,304. That's 33% capitalization rate per year. Eight, over $8,000 per year. It's pretty interesting, right? Think about it. 
Now you can leverage that money. Now this six hundred sixty-eight dollars per month is paying your power bill, your internet, your video games. You know, it's taking your girlfriend out to dinner, whatever you want to do. Or you can save it, build it, reinvest, use that cash flow to do something else, which is what I would recommend. I recommend you f follow Greg Manorino and listen to his advice on how to invest in other things other than real estate. But these are the numbers, guys. It's really interesting. You just got to save and be disciplined and, and do it. Um, again, this number also doesn't include repair costs because that can fluctuate from a very little to a lot. But that is the risk. But take calculated risks. That's how you do it. If you want me to run some numbers for you, you need help. My team can help you. Okay. But use this information to your advantage. I don't think a lot of people know about that. But that is something you can do. That's a strategy. If you don't mind living in a multifamily, even if it's for just a year, like required by FHA or long term, you know, it's really interesting. Now, keep in mind, each market is different. Prices will fluctuate. Cost of living is cheaper in some places and more expensive in others. But it's all comparative because if the cost of the housing is higher, the rents are probably higher. So you can run the numbers and check that out yourself. OK, so get with a licensed agent that can help you run these numbers if you do not know how to do it yourself. I have tons of professionals in my network that can help you. So I look forward to doing that with you guys, okay? So I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to Greg Manorino and his followers. Thank you for all your support. I love it. Let's keep it coming. Let's keep it going. If you have any ideas, please let me know. My phone is ringing off the hook. I got a lot of work to do. So you guys have a great day and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>